a new celebration is finally starting on Global. But to be honest with you, this one's just kind of meh. But you know what? It's totally fine because this is what people call the calm before the storm. You know, as soon as this thing is over, they're going to hit us with that sweet, sweet Christmas celebration. And even if it's not for the Broly movie, which it very well could be. I haven't heard anything about it lately. So I still feel like it could be for the new Broly and the new Gogeta Blue, but even if it's not for those guys, you know it's still gonna be an amazing, amazing celebration with an even better banner for us to summon on, so everybody should get hyped for that. But you know what, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's check out what the Dokkan Winter Special Campaign has to offer us. We're gonna jump down over here. So we got the Dokkan Winter Special Campaign begins. A total of 12 celebrating events are here. New SSR Super Saiyan Gohan Future will show up in Dokkan Festival, which we already know about, the physical Future Gohan. Um, on top of that, don't miss out on the new Dokkan event, which is for the new Gohan, and the new Prime Battle, which you guys, if you have been following my videos, we're just following Dokkan news in general, is for the new AGL LR Future Trunks. And I'm actually very excited for him because <laughs> Trunks is one of my favorite characters in all of the Dragon Ball franchise, and uh, this LR is very good as well, so can't wait to farm it with you guys. We're gonna be streaming it, of course. Keep an eye out for that. Now, let's see what we have here. Number one is the Dokkan Winter Login Bonus. We get, I believe, one stone a day. We'll go into more detail on it in a second, but nothing too crazy there. We got some special missions as well, which I believe only gives about 10 stones in total, so Nothing too crazy there either. Like I said, it's a mess celebration. It's what you call a the filler celebration, essentially, before the big one hits for Christmas. Now, number three, Dragonstone Sale. Very mediocre Dragonstone Sale. Only uh, one for 32 stones and one for 91 stones. Expect the bigger one for the next celebration coming up. Number four is the Dokkan Festival. So, as we already discussed, this is a very, very good banner. Um, of course, it has the future Gohan, but also has Machido Blue, which we already knew about as well as probably still Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. He's going to be one of the main draws to the banner to kind of trap some people that really want him. And I'm not going to lie, it's kind of working on me. I mean, I have to see the banner again. I have to make sure that Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is still on there. And I will be very tempted if he is. No confirmation about whether or not I'm going to, you know, drop like a multi or two on it. You guys will see if I some if I release a video for it, but for the time being, no promises. But the general sentiment I got from a lot of people is that they will be skipping. Um, I made a video yesterday and a lot of people said they're going to be skipping. I also made an Instagram post and most people are like, this is an easy skip, saving for Christmas, saving for Broly and Gogeta. So I do recommend most people to skip this banner, but like I said, it's going to be very, very good. And uh, it's going to be a hard one to skip for sure. Number five is Gohan's Dokkan event, of course. And number six is a type banner. So, of course, you get two Elder Kai's every time you do a multi on this banner and it also has the two supports. You know, those are two great uh, support units and also has two LRs on it, which are LR Trunks and LR Bardock. So if you are missing those two LRs, you have a very good chance of pulling them on this banner, but they are regarded as two of the worst summonable LRs in the game, so... In my opinion, it's not the greatest type banner. The one I'm really waiting for is the tech type banner. It has two LRs. That's three. It has two LRs that I personally don't have, as well as LR Goku Black. So I don't have LR Goku and Frieza, who will be on that tech banner. And of course, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Don't have those either. I just really want to end the meme. People keep making fun of me for not having those guys. And of course, I don't have any dupes in my LR Goku Black either, so I'd love to pull him there too. So... Uh, tech banner is going to be where the hype is at, for me at least, and all three of those LRs are top, top tier LRs, top tier units, and the best units in the game, so that's going to be hype. But for the physical banner, eh, doesn't really do it for me. <laughs> Number seven is Fight Against Despair, very good event. So this is the event that you can farm uh, gravity chambers on. You can get two gravity chambers per run on the second stage, so if you guys are low on gravity chambers, one of the best items in this entire game is going to save you so many training items, then uh, farm this event for sure. We got the future Trunk Saga Dokkan event. Uh, not Dokkan event, just the story event. So uh, that that's a return as well. Uh, nothing too crazy there. And of course, new Prime Battle for this LR Super Saiyan Future Trunks. And I'm excited, guys. I really, really want him. So we're going to get on that grind day one. 
and hope you guys join me for it. We can grind it together. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do it live, like I said. Number 10 is the third virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. Another 35 or so free stones. And, you know, just something else to do while we wait for more hype news to come out. Number 11 is Genius Bulma's a Battle Prep. And as you guys know, whenever this comes out, that means that a world tournament is around the corner. So since it wasn't really announced here, I'm assuming it's going to be announced for the Christmas celebration instead. Um, but for this one, you can get a lot of great um, support items as normal. Ghost Usher, uh, what do you call it? Um, the Icarus and some other good stuff as well that could help you a lot in the World Tournament. So make sure you farm that if you're low on those items. And we also got the number 12 success rate in training doubled. Uh, nobody ever gets hyped for that. I mean, unless you're one of those people that really wants to save even more items on top of using gravity chambers, then there you go. <laughs> that's for you. But that's all there is really. Um, we're going to go a little bit in depth on the login bonus as well as the special missions, but I don't really think it's that interesting. It's really all that at all. We got one stone per day for, uh, what, like seven, eight days or so? So, yeah, like seven or eight stones right there. And uh, number 12 is, or not number 12, the next thing is the special missions. And like I said, you get one stone here, two, three, eight stones in total for getting all the missions done and some orbs too. These, these I mean, uh, right there, they're orbs. The orbs are good, but other than that, nothing that exciting. So that is pretty much the Dokkan Winter Special Campaign there for you. Like I said, not the most exciting as far as celebrations go, but it's been such a long time that we've had a new celebration on Global that I am still excited for it. And it just means that we're getting ever so, ever, what, what's this, what's the saying? We're getting closer to Christmas. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I was trying to be fancy with my words, but it didn't really work. So all I'm gonna say is we're getting close to Christmas. Get hyped for that, guys. This one is still good, though. We got, of course, a new um, virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, Dokkan Battlefield, and as well. I was also, I heard that maybe we might be getting LR Meta Cooler in the shop too, but I'm not 100% sure. So don't take my word for it. But that'd be that'd be really exciting. Um, we got the new banner as well as the uh, new LR Super Saiyan Trunks to farm as well. So some good stuff in there. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are the most excited for and whether or not you're going to be summoning for physical um, future Gohan and on the physical banner as well. I recommend against it. You shouldn't do it, but I know some people are going to. So if you are, let me know in the comments down below and just, uh, you know, if anything else is on your mind, let me know. I love to talk with you guys. I love to interact with you guys, as you guys know. So. That's gonna do it for this video. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all for me. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.